What's up, everybody? Bobby here, the Nintendo Guru, back at it yet again. Here we go. So, listen. What I want to do is we're gonna we're gonna do the breakdown. We're gonna do all the, uh, the, the 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 discussing, the talking, the Nintendo Guru Daily Live. Once it gets done, I'll go into the chat, check the questions or comments or whatever. We'll go through them real quick, and then we'll end. We'll play some games and do that thing that we do every single day. It seems to be every day we've been doing it. So, why stop now? So here's the thing. The Nintendo Creators Program, gone. Nintendo announced it last night. I was streaming last night when I saw the tweet. And I thought the worst. You know what I mean? Like, I thought, okay, this is bad. This is bad. This is, Nintendo's going to take ever, all the money and give nothing back. So, for those that don't know what the Nintendo Creators Program was, here's the way it breaks down, essentially. So... It, what would happen is, is in theory, I'm just going to use relative numbers here. In theory, when I would make a video on YouTube and I would post it on YouTube and I started to get views and I made the ad revenue and I could apply to AdSense, whatever, numbers aren't exact. Uh, YouTube would essentially go, okay, Bobby, you get 70% of the take. We're going to take 30% of the take. No problem. No harm, no foul. Then all of a sudden, Nintendo just comes in and sideswipes everybody and starts taking all the money because they're copyright claiming everything. What a copyright claim is, is essentially what they're doing is they're taking the rights to that content. And they're saying that everything in that video is theirs. Doesn't matter if it's a Let's Play. Doesn't matter if it's a video like this and I just pop like a 10 to 15 second trailer of Mario Odyssey. In their minds, it's their content now. They're going to take it all. So fans were revolting and getting upset. And what Nintendo's idea was, hey, we'll become an affiliate. We'll become a network. Similar to like what Makers was before the whole PewDiePie thing went. Where Disney had a group of basically YouTubers. And they would collect all the money, pull share all the money, and then divvy it out. So what Nintendo was basically saying was, listen, you've made money with YouTube. The 70%... That YouTube is giving you. Now we're going to cut that again. We're going to give you the higher percentage. I believe it was either 60 or 70. We're going to give you that percentage. We're going to take 30 or whatever percent of it. Pretty much basically saying like, we're going to take your money out of your pocket. But we're being kind enough to let you use our footage, our game footage. And we're going to give you a little bit. So yesterday, Nintendo announced it's done. The first thoughts I had was... This is doom and gloom. This is trouble. This is Nintendo basically saying, like, we don't care. We're taking all the money. Basically, they start off this, this email that went out just saying, like, we're humbled by your loyalty and the fact that people just want to continue to put out content and, and, and show their love for Nintendo. Now what they're saying is, is the content creator program is gone and you may now monetize your videos and channels using the monetization method separately specified by Nintendo. Other forms of monetization of our intellectual property for commercial purposes are not permitted. So basically what, and we'll get into all the gist of all this, what it all means is before you could do one of two things, you could monetize a video or you can monetize your channel. So Example, I had my whole channel monetized. So every single video that went up, every single one that went up, me and Nintendo were splitting money. Guy like Joe After Work, he was only splitting the ones. What he would do is he would put a video up, and if Nintendo copyright claimed it, he would take that video and then throw it over into the creator program. So this way, at least he was getting something off of it. Me, I was just like, you know what, I'm going to be a partner, I'm going to go. Now, I left the program. And the reason why I left the program is a friend of mine who is a YouTuber, pretty successful YouTuber, came to me and was like, listen, this is not for you. You shouldn't be in here. Get out now. You got to get away from this. This program is not good for you. 
move on. So I did. So basically, now Nintendo's saying, like, doesn't matter. Do your videos. Put them up. Just put them up as you normally would. We encourage you to create videos that include your creative input and commentary. Videos and images that contain mere copies of Nintendo game content without creative input or commentary are not permitted. So here's the thing. I can't just basically become a trailer site. I can't just basically rip all Nintendo's trailers off and throw them up. They're not going to go for that. But if I'm doing my typical stuff and then I want to throw some gameplay footage over top of it, they're going to let me go with that. If I do anything where I'm doing a Let's Play with commentary, they're okay with that. You are only permitted to use Nintendo game content that has been officially released or from promotional materials officially released by Nintendo. So what does this do, such as such as product trailers or Nintendo Direct? So what happens is, if you want to take, um, let's say Breath of the Wild 2 is coming out, okay? Nintendo releases an official trailer on that. I want to do a Reacts video. I'm okay to do that. But let's say that someone releases... I don't know, a little game called Smash. Some idiots go and they steal the, the game and they basically hack, hijack the ROM and throw it up on the internet and they spread the love and they let everybody else download it and all these morons start making videos. Nintendo don't want to hear that. Then that ain't going to fly and they're going to shut you down in a heartbeat and they're going to go after you completely. Um, if you want to use intellectual properties of a third party, you're responsible for obtaining any necessary third-party permissions. So, just because there's a game on the Nintendo Switch, Starlink's a prime example of that, okay? So there's basically footage in, you know, you have the Star Fox stuff that's exclusive to Nintendo, but Starlink is also on multiple platforms. If I want to make a Starlink video, and that gets copyright striked, Nintendo's not going to copyright strike that. Ubisoft is. So I have to go to Ubisoft and obtain the rights from them. And that's what Nintendo's saying is, we're not getting in the middle of this. We've done our part. We've given you full reign. Go for it. You are not permitted to imply or state that your videos are officially affiliated or sponsored by Nintendo. Makes a lot of sense. They don't want people going like, hey man, I'm promoting this phone and I'm showing a Nintendo video on it. And guess what? Nintendo and I are partners. Can't do stuff like that. Can't do any of that stuff. So, makes a lot of sense. We reserve, <clears throat> we reserve the right to remove any content that we believe is unlawful, infringing, inappropriate, or not in line with our guide with these guidelines. So, basically, they're saying like, you can do this, and we're going to help you out, and we're going to let you make money off of this now. But if there's something going on, prime example. Someone's sitting there, and they're doing a Let's Play of Mario Kart, and they're dropping the F-bomb over and over and over and over and over again, or using racial slurs or hateful speech. Nintendo could come in and go, like, no, nah, that's got to go. Like, this is not us. This is not what we want. This is not the, the, the idea of what Nintendo is, so that's going to go away. Please understand that we will not be able to respond to individual inquiries regarding these guidelines. Also, we may update these guidelines from time to time, so please refer to the latest version before sharing your content. So basically what they're saying is, don't go crazy. Don't, you know, like, it, there's going to be some questions and things are going to pop up from time to time, and we're going to basically break this down. There are a lot of questions, like, what types of contents are acceptable under the guidelines, uh, we encourage you to use Nintendo game content in videos and images that feature your creative input and commentary. For example, Let's Play videos, video game reviews are within the scope of the guidelines. However, you may not simply upload or live stream an existing Nintendo video gameplay footage without your own creative input or copy content created by someone else. So what they're saying, again, they're not, they don't want you to become the trailer site for them and basically upload everything. Everything Nintendo does, you're just going to upload on your page they're not going to go for that. They're going to shoot it down. They're going to stop it. But reacts videos, let's plays where you're interacting with the game. You're talking. People are coming. People are coming to you because they want to see you. And oh, by the way, you're playing Mario Kart. Oh, that's awesome. So it's it's like, hey man, my friend's coming over to see me. And oh, oh wow, you're playing Mario Kart. Oh, oh, that's awesome. That's what they're looking for. That type of experience where people are coming for you. And they're, and they're getting to hang out and see more of that. Do the, do the guidelines cover video uplaids, 
uploads or can I live stream my videos as well? Yes, the guidelines cover both. Uh, what do you mean by appropriate video and image sharing websites? We generally accept most commonly used video and imaging share light, share sites platforms such as, but not limited to, YouTube, Twitch, Instagram. However, we reserve the right to remove any content that we believe is unlawful and infringing and all that stuff. So there's a, there's a lot of different things. If I want to post stuff on Facebook, they're going to be okay with that. If I want to post stuff on Twitter, I'm sure they're going to be okay with it. The other thing they're looking for is if you're if you're basically doing the share button, they have the share function, you know, that you are going to be able to do this stuff. Um, here's, a, here's a question. What exactly are the monetization methods specifically specified by Nintendo as referred to? In the, we currently, uh, currently the monetization methods separately specified by Nintendo include the following. Facebook, there's a whole bunch of streaming stuff that Facebook's doing. Um, there's... A, this is what I'm not even going to mess with. There's a, I, Nikani Kono Niko, not whatever. It is what it is. Open record creators program, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, all that stuff. Um, can I sell content that I create and upload or live stream on a sharing platform that includes Nintendo? No. You may not sell any videos, music, or images. So you can't take something and go, I'm going to put a DVD out of all my work and sell it. There's a lot of stuff. I encourage everybody to go check out what you can and can't do. Here's where we're going to get into my thoughts on all this. And, and this is where I'm kind of happy. If you're on Twitch, you recognize that Nintendo um, is not really tied in with Twitch the way they are with YouTube. They're, that tight-knitness in terms of like Nintendo just went in there and just slammed the band hammer on people and was just like, you can't put this content up. We're taking the rights to it just how it is. Twitch was a little bit different animal. But recently, Twitch also changed their their rights and their programs and all that stuff in terms of meaning I they, they changed their terms of services. So I can't play music that's copyrighted. This is what's scary for me. I'm going to be honest with you. With me moving a lot of my stuff over to Twitch, I've had conversation with friends saying like, man, I'm a little scared that now Nintendo is going to come over here and start basically copyright striking the games, which I don't know if you've ever been on a, or checked out a stream in post video on demand VOD, which what happens is, is if there's one on, I have a couple up now that are VODs that a section of the videos are cut out because of the music. There's a section that's just me playing a game, me playing Splatoon, and a section of the game is cut out because somebody or somebody, you know, recognized that that was copyright infringement and grabbed that little clip, I think it's about two minutes long, out of the whole live stream. Didn't understand what was happening at that time. But I'm happy to hear this because this was my biggest fear, that Nintendo was going to come over here and start hammering as the same exact way they did at YouTube. Now, here's the other thing that I've been seeing today. It blows my mind because people are just, you know, they know it all. It's just how it is. People are now saying, like, see, we can complain to Nintendo and they'll fix stuff eventually. If we just keep screaming and shouting and screaming and shouting, Nintendo will give up and walk away. Number one, people screamed and shouted two years ago. That screaming and shouting has stopped since. But what Nintendo has been doing is working with their brand ambassadors. And a lot of their brand ambassadors have been talking to Nintendo. I know this for a fact. I'm friends with a bunch of the brand ambassadors. They've all been talking to Nintendo every chance they get and go, man, you really need to change this. This is not helping us. It's not helping young YouTubers come up the ranks. They're floundering. They can't make money. They can't succeed. They can't. They're spending all this money on equipment and 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 internet and televisions and computers and games and all. And they can't make a dime back off of it. And when you're starting out, that's what you want. You want to recoup some of the costs to do. The microphone isn't free. You know, webcam isn't free. Mac computer's not free. Headsets aren't free. My glasses aren't free. Well, the glasses don't really count, I guess. I guess. I don't know. But anyway, you get the point. So, I know that brand ambassadors were going to Nintendo and saying, you need to look at this. This really needs a change. So, I think that Nintendo, coupled with the fact that the brand ambassadors were laying it out, they just weren't screaming and shouting. They were going, look, this works. This doesn't work. People are coming for Roger's base to hear Roger talk about Kirby. They're not coming for Kirby. They're coming to hear what Roger, Roger's thoughts 
on Kirby is because they they trust Rogers' beliefs, his his ideas, what he likes, what he doesn't like. So we're going to talk to Roger and hear what Roger has to say. And that I think is when Nintendo finally recognized this is this is foolhardy. This is making no sense to us. Let's stop. The other thing is this: Nintendo, since Mister Iwata's passing, has taken on a different look to things in terms of. People have complained to them or questioned them, and they've fixed things. When people are complaining now, Nintendo stops and listens. Now, it might take them time, but eventually they're going to work their way through it and figure it all out. I hope there's a couple of things they figure out, like dropping the apps and and just going to a chat within the system. But if we continue to just say, hey, Nintendo, this doesn't work for us. Can we fix this? Maybe, eventually, I'm praying, they'll start making some changes. This is good news. I hope that other creators are as happy about this as I am. I am very happy about this. Seriously. I didn't like the creators program. I didn't like the way it was. Like, I would put a video up and bang. I already had two videos this week copyright claimed by Nintendo. The one was copyright claimed just for the intro that I had. Because I had video footage of the Smash trailer and some Splatoon trailer stuff. So this is good. This is a good thing. And I am very happy about that. So... As of now, let's jump into the chat. Let's see if there's any questions. Anybody wants to talk, wants to have some some chat stuff going on. Holy cow, you guys are going crazy here. Um, <laughs> Ted, can't get enough of that emote. That is, it's the Kerbobby emote. It is pretty It is pretty spectacular, not going to lie. Um, Mr. Badbit, apparently Mr. there's a guy here named Mr. Badbit. He's looking for his son, Jeremy. If you've seen Jeremy, please take a moment, notify the authorities, let him know where his son Jeremy is. This is very tragic. He's been he's been looking for Jeremy for a very long time now. So maybe we can help him get on his way and just find Jeremy. He's only looking for his son. Please find a way. Help him, please. I'm begging you. Um, <laughs> Luke Lore, dope 360 controllers. They're not 360 controllers. They're Power A Nintendo Switch controllers. Don't try this, Luke. Don't try to ch- change the narrative here. Don't try to change the narrative, my man. Not gonna happen. Um, let's see. Who else we got here? Uh, Olin Richardson asking for a friend. What kind of detergent <laughs> would I get to use some to get some brown out of my? Ah, p- uh, man, you want to get some brown out of your pants? I uh, first thing I would say is maybe perhaps look into some better underwear. Uh, second thing, you might want to take some Pepto Bismol to tighten some things up within the insides. Just just throwing that out there. Uh, thirdly, I use Tide. Tide's a very good detergent. Um, you might want to give that a roll. I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay. So I got Splash JK Live. He's saying, do you think it would be a good investment to buy a friend, Fu Chang, a Nintendo Switch for Christmas? Um, I would. I think that the Nintendo Switch is a very solid investment for anybody looking to game. Um it's great for the fact that you can play at home, play on the go, which we all know that. We all know that. But what I love about it is it's a very solid indie machine. There are so many games coming to the Switch right now. It is inundated with games. There are well over 1,200 games already within two years. It is madness, the amount of games that are on this thing. I love my Switch. I enjoy my Switch. I play it any chance that I get. I play it a lot. I went to Thanksgiving, took it with me. Because my mom and uh, my, my future sister-in-law were watching the Hallmark Channel. And I didn't want to watch the Hallmark Channel. I was like, come on. It's Thanksgiving. I'm just going to go sit over on the table. I'm going to play some Switch. And that's what I did. There, it, It's just a lot of fun. I, I don't feel like... What I, what I love about the Switch is I don't feel like I'm limited to my house. I, I feel like if I want to go someplace, I just pick it up and move along. And just go. And the game continues. What I What I love about it is... An example is Breath of the Wild. Uh, I was playing at home a lot. I would take it with me to work, play on my lunch break. And then when I went away and went out of town, I took it with me and I didn't lose track of where I was. Anybody will tell you, everybody knows you. We've all been here before. You're playing a game, you're hot and heavy into the game, and you go away on vacation for a week. And then you come back and you don't remember where the heck you are. Completely lost. This answers that. And it's it's great. I love it. I, I, I really do. Um, Deuterino is saying that Nintendo should destroy the people who stole Smash. Couldn't agree more. Could not agree more. 
I am uh I, I, I'm not I'm not very happy about what happened with all this. This is crazy that people stole this. We've been down this earlier this week. It's it's you know, it's not it's not good. Uh, Mr. Bad Bit is upset that the inappropriate videos are gone, so that means he can't use the inappropriate or the images of Nintendo for the Wild Luigi erotic fan flick. Yeah, I don't I don't know what I I, I don't know what that is. I don't ugh, why. Um, <laughs> Zyger says, uh, in class, I drew a picture of Pikachu and Nintendo came by the class and handed me a cease and desist. <sighs> you, we know that's not the case. We know this is all done. You know what I mean? All done. Uh, Joe F. Works says, personally, this needed to happen for a long time. Welcome to 2014, Nintendo. Uh, listen, at the end of the day, they're a very old company and they have different pecking orders. Meaning Japan sets the tone for everything. They, they are kind of archaic, archaic. They're coming around. And I can't blame them at first because they don't really know what's happening. Let's be honest. The Wii, no online at all. I mean, it had online, but it was garbage. Um, Wii U started to get to the online stuff, but that was when they actually started putting game footage on there. Um, and this is when all this kind of started was during the Wii U era. So I understand why it takes them a little bit of time. They just, it's sad that they just don't have their finger on the pulse completely. And I don't like it. Don't get me wrong, but who knows? Um, and is there anything else? I think that's it. Okay. My question, bad bit is saying, my question, what is El Isabel from Animal Crossing's body count? We know she has taken life multiple times without a doubt, but what's her tally? I would say she's probably taken out about 15 people in her life. A couple villagers. I think she's taken out Tor Tortimer because Tortimer just disappeared. They say he's on an island. I think I think she just put him down. I don't know. So that is all. Thank you guys for watching today's Nintendo Guru Daily Live. We are going to jump into... We're going to start off with some Mario Kart 8. Move into some Splatoon 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a quick pause, literally two minutes, just to get my chair set up, get the th screen set up, get everything set up. Then we're going to jump into some Mario Kart 8. You're more than welcome to join us. I'm going to set a room up. We're going to have some fun. We're going to play. So right now, that is all. Peace out, Preston. <laughs>